Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster, and I, as you might be able to guess from the title of this video, I have gone and bought another axe. Um, now this is the Cold Steel Viking Hand Axe. Um, I was emailed by a website that I've bought some stuff from before telling me about a special offer they had on. This was 25% off, so I paid £35 for it as opposed to I think it's something like 48 or 50 they normally charge. Um, and for that price, I figured I'd just give it a bit of a go. Um, I, I, as you may know from other videos, I do like the bearded axe design. Um, I find it really useful for things like choking up and carving and that kind of thing. Um, so I thought I'd give it a go. Now I'll throw some specs up on the screen. Um, you've got what I think is a 30 inch haft and a six, six and a half inch uh, blade, I believe. Uh, but again, I'll throw the specs up so you can see. Um, but the intention I had for buying this ax, um, and again, because, the, the, because it's uh, designed as a, as a is a reproduction fighting style axe. The blades are very, very thin, um, hopefully as you can see here. Um, and that, that's fairly common for most sort of historically accurate fighting axes. Um, and I personally think that it lends itself really well to carving. So what I'm likely to do is I'm gonna sharpen this up because unfortunately it has come very blunt as a lot of the cold steel sort of tomahawks and axes do. Um, not a problem for me, you know, I will sharpen it up relatively quickly and easily. Um, but if you are thinking about getting one, just bear in mind that it's not gonna come, you know, hair shaving sharp. Um, now I'm either going to cut down the current haft uh, which is relatively comfortable, it's a nice oval design, you can get a good grip on it, um, or I may actually take the head completely off um, and rehandle it with a handle that I've made, um, maybe slightly more curved and more comfortable design um, specifically for carving. Um, so that's why I bought this axe. Um, now, the, in order to answer the question of this video is what is better than getting a brand new axe? Um, the answer is getting two brand new axes. Um, now, if you're anything like um, my colleagues, because I had these delivered to my workplace, um, sorry about the planes guys, they're coming over thick and fast, um, or certainly if you're anything like my wife, um, when I got, you know, turned up home um, two days after buying the first axe with a second axe, um, you know, being asked, why the hell have you gone out and bought another axe? Um, well, the reason is, is that as some of you may know, I'm sure I've mentioned this in other videos before, um, I have a, a, you know, a genuine interest in history, um, and uh, in particular kind of historical martial arts. Um, now, I'm not a practitioner. I did practice HEMA, which is Historical European Martial Arts, um, a number of years ago. Um, I did that for a couple of years and really enjoyed it, and then unfortunately had quite a bad motorcycle accident. Um, I was off any form of training for, for just over a year, and then life got in the way. I didn't, I didn't go back, which, which to this day I regret because I really enjoyed enjoyed it. Um, but that was predominantly longsword. Um, it was with a group called the Exiles who were based in Dagenham in the UK um, and they followed a treatise written by an Italian swordmaster named Fiori de la Berri, um, who I believe was a 15th century swordmaster. I could get that, I may get that wrong and I'll happily be corrected. Um, and basically it was the use of longsword, daggers, uh, grappling and a few other bits and pieces. Um, and I really enjoyed it. Um, you know, it, it's very easy for somebody to pick up a weapon, be it a sword, be it an axe, be it a spear or whatever, um, and kind of flail around with it. But um, it does take an awful lot of skill and understanding to be able to use it and use it well. Um, now, when this first arrived, or the, the other one first arrived, um, certainly with the intention of modifying it, I very quickly sort of started playing around with it, um, you know, getting a feel for it. Um, and uh, very recently I've rekindled my interest in historical martial arts. Um, so I thought, you know what, this is actually a really nice piece. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly how historically accurate it is, um, but it is a really, really nice axe. Um, and I would quite like, um, my intention now is to do a little bit of sort of experimental archaeology if you like, just playing around with it, you know, getting a feel for it, seeing how it might have been used to attack and defend and what have you. Um, now obviously this is uh, meant to be a single handed axe, it actually would work relatively well as a double handed axe as it stands at the moment. Um, I may shorten this half down a little bit just to play about with it. Um, but in general, you know, that is um, what I'm going to be using this axe for. Now obviously um, my channel is predominantly bushcraft and woodcraft based. Um, if there is any interest from you guys as my subscribers to see me, um, what, what can only be described as flailing around with this, trying to work out how to use it, then I'll more than happily do that. Um, but again, it just depends whether there's any interest or not. Um, but anyway guys, just to be meant to be a short video, just to introduce you to these and what I'm planning on doing with them. Um, like a lot of the cold steel products, they don't come with um, axe masks or sheaths, um, so I will be doing a video 
uh, fairly shortly of making a sheath for this. Um, I'm actually going to make it out of wood rather than leather because I've never really tried leather work and I don't have any leather or leather working tools to do that with. Uh, but I did see a very interesting article about uh, wooden axe sheaths or masks uh, that I'm going to give a go to. Um, so. As I say, one of these will be being modified to become a dedicated carver, and I will bring you along, um, do a video on that when I come around to do it. The other one, I'm just gonna be literally playing around with um, just to see how I get on with it and whether I can learn how maybe they were used. Um, and if there's any interest, I'll, I'll, I'll do some videos on that as well. Um, but I hope it was useful. Uh, comments and questions in the box below. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I hope you'll all join me next time. Thanks, guys.